Hey, it's a pleasure to talk to you a little bit about our CTE programs in Tibbet, and we have plenty of them, but the one we're looking at today is our carpentry engineering program. The beauty of these programs simply is we have students who are architects, engineers, who are going to Brown University, and kids who are swinging a hammer and going to go to the world of work, all coming together to create amazing projects using technology, using handheld skills, handheld products, and they do amazing work together. It's a great program. 80 students in a high school of 400 tells us it's really making a difference for our students. Pleasure to show it to you. My class has a lot of technology, a lot of big technology and new technology that the way the world's going, right? From lasers, from vinyl cutters, like whatever it is, the mills, like the kids, I find enjoy that the most, right? So whenever you move, the screen moves. And getting, teaching them is, it tends to be easy because they're not realizing that they're learning something. They're, they're learning the real world application of how to how to use a laser cutter and what they can do with it. You can use the pen, you can look through things, you put it right in the little screen uh, There's not, it hasn't been a year, this is only my 10th year teaching, there hasn't been a year that I haven't done some sort of training or some, tried to learn something new. They, they get real skills that they can take into summer jobs or right into the profession. The students come in in the morning, we will take all of our um, Assignments that we do at night, the next day we'll come in, we will review our assignments, drafting, layout, and design. Eventually, once the kids are done with their drafting, we will take them down into the wood shop, and that's where we will learn safety and operation, and then we will build the pieces to the boats that we create. And uh, one of the boats is right back here. This is a 12-foot strip cedar kayak, uh, hand-built. The students will actually put in the water and they will get to take out and, and paddle for the first time. Once, the, uh, once we do that, we will put them uh, in the local newspaper to sell. We live in the East Bay. Marine trades is a very big uh, you know, profession in the state. And so therefore our curriculum ties right into you know, woodworking skills, fine carpentry. And then for example, uh, this is a boat that we're building right now, a 16 foot, we call it a Sakonet River flat bottom skiff. And this right here is a 15 foot Chester yawl that the students completed last year. It's a two person rowboat, a beautiful, beautiful project. The students are getting great skills uh, and uh, they love, they love to see this project uh, go into the water. We get to row it and then eventually we'll take this boat and we'll uh, put it out to the newspapers and see if we can sell this boat. On the board, and find your name, have a seat, and then you could actually part of something kind of cool. We then have the CNA program, which I was saying that the students have 80 um, lab hours outside. They go to Comic Day. Um, we also have um, our That's IC program. Power. She says 12 transferable URI credits. So we work very closely with Rhode Island College, URI, Salva and Gina, uh, Roger Williams. We make sure that we connect a lot with uh, a lot of the Rhode Island industry, uh, industry as well as our educational programs. I think it's important to prepare students for the workforce, the readiness gap, not the achievement gap, because we want them to be prepared when they go into the workforce or into higher education schools. They need to know how to communicate, collaborate, and so all of these programs will give them those skills so that when they leave high school, they'll be ready. Proud that last year 100% of our students walked across the stage and graduated from Tiverton High School. It was a collaborative effort made by the administrative team, the social emotional team, and our guidance department, and our faculty and staff. So we push hard, we get the kids to cross that stage, we want them to be successful, and we won't let them fail.